I'm senior recruit Lowing. I'm with X-Ray 181, and I just finished my first week of training, the forming week. Uh, my first week of boot camp, um, it was what I expected, but not exactly what I thought. Um, I knew it would be a difficult task coming in here. The hardest thing for me is was the discipline part of it. Um, I didn't know exactly um, how intricate the discipline had to be. You know, you have to do it precisely what they ask you to do and what they say. So it took me a little while to uh, try to get my mind into that type of uh, mindset. But I think I'm working on it, I'm getting better at it. A lot of these guys are younger than me, so I try to help them along. And they, they help me along too. Um, at first, when we first got here, we was kind of just scattered all over the place. And, you know, no one really knew each other, so we weren't trying to separate any toes. But um, as soon as we got into our actual company, we knew that, you know, our, our company commanders on the time objective, they weren't playing around. So we knew we had to really, really help each other out. And now it's like we just, we're brothers, you know. We, if somebody needs some help with something, um, you know, no matter who it is, we all chip in so we can meet our time objectives on time. The event, a moment that sticks out in my mind from the past week, the marching. Um, the marching is a little more convoluted than I thought it was. I thought it was just a bunch of guys stomping their feet, but there's a lot of commands and demands that you have to know in order for it to, to be uh, precise and to be in cohesion. So it took me a little while to get that down. The instructions of the company commanders, they, they pretty um, out front with what they want you to do. Uh, you really just have to listen, basically. If whatever you don't catch, somebody caught. So you just ask them and we all help each other along. My company commanders, um, it's, still, it's still early you know, in my boot camp experience, so I haven't really got to know them that much very well, but you can tell that Although they're hard on us, they care. You know, when they're not hounding us out, you can, they're kind of nurturing us to bring us along with, with, for some of us that don't get it. Petty Officer Vanover, I think, he, he does the most um, of the teaching uh, of the recruits, I think. Um, yeah, he, I think he's very good at what he does. He makes sure that we, we're in line and we get the commands right, we go over it. And um, he, he, he's basically, he's a fair guy, you know. If, if, we're not doing what we're supposed to do, then we're going to pay for it. If we are, then, you know, he's going to go into the next thing and keep teaching us. The first wake up from company um, certainly wasn't pleasant. You really have to get used to waking up that way because it kind of rattles you because you'd be in deep sleep because you'd be so tired from the, from the previous day. And uh, all of a sudden, early in the morning, you hear this bullhorn and the alarm, and it just, it just kind of shakes you up a little bit. Um, and you have to be fast. and. You have to get your mind to process that it's time to get up and be online. So um, it, it was a little hard at first, but then you kind of get used to it. Really, at this point, I have no concept of time because we stay busy. We're constantly doing something. And in, the, in a way, I sort of like it that way because then that way the days are not dragging. I would advise anybody to come. Don't worry about what time it is because you're going to get to bed when the commander says you're going to bed. So just kind of go with the flow. Just um, when you come to boot camp, just make sure that, first of all, make sure you're in shape and make sure that you, as fast as you possibly can be. Most people are used to taking your time and, you know, doing it at your own pace. But here, you know, you have so many people and we all have to do the same things and you have to do it in, within a certain time frame. Just make sure you do everything with speed and make sure you're as loud as you possibly can be. This is Seaman Recruit North. We're just finishing up week two, and this is what happened. Well, we had our swim assessment, and you have to jump off, I think it's either a five-foot or six-foot platform. 
and uh, I don't do very well with heights so I was freaking out a little bit. That made the swim a little harder for me because I, I was already breathing heavily and shaking and you know my nerves were just crazy at that point but you know once you get off the platform it's really not that bad you know the um, the instructor for that class was really nice about it and was just kind of like you know close your eyes take a step off you'll be right in the water you won't even notice once I started swimming I calmed down a little bit but then I felt like it was it was a little more difficult for me to actually get that whole hundred meters down um, I struggled a little bit towards the end just because I was so out of breath from basically from freaking out about the platform but I was able to finish my swim assessment. I did pass. After that, you do a five-minute treading water. And I was, I was a little bit worried about that one, but once you actually get in there, the five minutes goes by really fast. It's, it's not that difficult to tread water for five minutes. This week was a little harder physically because we not only are doing like the regular IT sessions, you know, where you're doing your crunches and your flutter kicks and push-ups and all that but also we did our first uh, big gym sessions this week which is pretty intense we had to run a mile like almost immediately after we uh, woke up we did the bikes for the first time this week which was hard really 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 hard um, so I mean this this week is definitely been more physical a lot more physical I hate the piece I, I don't like having the peace at all. We were marched down to the armory, which was fine. Uh, you know, it's like a 15, 20 minute march. And you go down and you have something specific that you have to say, which, of course, it's written up on a board right in front of you, and I messed it up. And I don't. But um, you get issued your piece, and then you have a specific way you're supposed to carry it. And they're only, you know, eight and a half, nine pounds, but when you're carrying it, and depending on which which way you have to carry it, it gets really heavy really quickly. I do like doing manual of arms where we learn the um, port arms and and how to hold it and putting it on our shoulder and everything like that. I do enjoy that part of it, um, but marching with it and you know doing the IT drills with it, uh, I don't like at all. <laughs> I knew um, from talking to other people and um, from the videos that it would be part of our IT, um, doing different drills with it. I didn't realize how difficult those drills were going to be. Um, like I said, it's only about nine pounds, but nine pounds when you're holding it for 20 minutes straight out in front of you or above your head or out to the side. It, gets really heavy really quickly. We had a lot of classes this week. We learned saluting, we learned the shoulder boards and uh, collar insignias for officers and how to salute officers, how to salute our colors. We learned a lot this week. We did a, we did a lot of stuff this week. Um, at this point, I you know, the days are, are really long, um, but I feel like the weeks are going by pretty quickly. Um, you know, we're finishing week two and I mean, I realize that we still have six weeks to go, but I, I don't feel like it's that long. You know, basically we're a quarter of the way done and if you think about it like that, I mean, it seems to go by a little bit faster for me, I think. You know, I think if you listen and do what you're supposed to do, it's not that difficult. So, you know, I think the time's going to go by a lot faster than I thought.